everyone! Welcome to my channel! By the way, I'm Teacher Brian. And in my channel, I will be sharing science lessons that may help you in your science subject. First off, we will be talking about naming and writing chemical formulas because I believe for a student like you to appreciate the world of chemistry, you have to learn how to name and to write chemical formulas. If you wish to have a better grasp of the topic, I invite you to watch my video up until the end and my upcoming videos. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So let's get it started. Before we jump in into our discussion, let us first answer this question. Why do we need to have names for people, place, or things? Right, for us to be able to classify, identify, distinguish, or for us to have a reference. But not all names stay the same. Women, for example, change names once they get married. In similar manner, elements' name also change when they combine with other elements. And this is what we are going to talk about in this video. We will name binary ionic compound. Let us have first its definition. Binary ionic compound is composed of ions of two different elements, one of which is a metal and the other is a non-metal. Ions or ion is an atom or group of atoms that carries a positive or a negative electric charge as a result of having lost or gained one or more electrons. Examples of ions are sodium ion, that is Na+, and fluorine ion, that is F-. Ion that carries a plus charge is termed as a cation, and ion that carries a minus charge is termed as an ion. Having these two ions of opposite charges likely attract each other, forming binary ionic compound, NaF, for this is named as sodium fluoride. NaF or sodium fluoride is an example of binary ionic compound. Two ions of different elements, sodium ion and fluorine ion, and one is a metal and the other is a non-metal. Sodium is our metal cation and fluorine is our non-metal anion. In this video, we will only be naming binary ionic compound with metal that forms only one type of cation, or these are the metals with a fixed charge. The metals that form only one type of cation are found in group 1, group 2 of the periodic table and also these metals. In group 1 metals, that is from lithium down to francium, all have a 1 plus charge. And in group 2 metals, that is from beryllium down to radium, all have a 2 plus charge. Hydrogen is not a metal element. These metals here have their corresponding charges on top of them, 3 plus, 2 plus, and 1 plus. 
you can also see here in this table the non-metal that is usually paired with our metal cation and their corresponding charges 3 minus 2 minus and 1 minus let us start naming binary ionic compound with this example NaCl what do you think is the correct name of this compound. Well, to correctly name this compound, you need to follow these four simple steps. Step one, two, three, and four. In step one, what we only need to do is identify the cation and the anion. In any compound just like this, it is the cation that comes first before the anion. So in our example, Na is our cation and Cl is our anion. And since Na belongs to group 1 of the periodic table, it has a 1 plus charge. And Cl our non-metal anion has a 1 minus charge. That is Na plus and Cl minus. And we're done with step 1. Let's now proceed to step 2. In step 2, very simple. We only need to name the cation by its element name. And our cation is Na. And Na is the chemical symbol of what element? Of course, it's a chemical symbol of the element sodium. And we're now ready to proceed to step 3. In step 3, we have to name the anion by taking the root name of the element and add the letters IBE. Our anion is Cl, and Cl is a chemical symbol of what element? Exactly, it's a chemical symbol of the element chlorine. And to find the root name of the element chlorine, we have here a table where is chlorine, and the root name of chlorine is chlor. That is C H L O R. And we have to add the letters I B E. That is chlor plus I B E. And finally, we have to write the name of the compound by combining the names of the ions. For cation, we have sodium, and for our anion, we have chloride. So, the correct name of this compound NaCl is very good! It's sodium chloride! Yay! Let us have another example. CaO Again, to correctly name this compound, we just need to follow the steps. First step, we have to identify the cation and the anion. As what I've said, in any compound, it is always the cation that comes first before the anion. So in this example, Ca is our cation and O is our anion. And since Ca belongs to group 2 of the periodic table, it has a 2 plus charge. And O, our non-metal anion, has a 2 minus charge. That is Ca2 plus and O2 minus. Step 2, we have to name the cation by its element name. Ca is a chemical symbol of the element 
Rice. It's a chemical symbol of the element calcium. And we're done with step two. Let us now proceed to step three. In step three, we have to name the anion by taking the root name of the element and add the letters I, D, E. O is a chemical symbol of the element. Of course, it's a chemical symbol of the element oxygen. And to find the root name of the element oxygen, we're going to be using this table again. And let's look for oxygen. Okay, we have here the oxygen. And its root name is ox. That's O-X. And add the letters I-D-E. Making it ox plus I-D-E. And finally, we have to write the name of the compound by combining the names of the ions. For cation, we have calcium. And for our anion, we have oxide. So, the correct name of this compound, CaO, is, right, it's calcium oxide. Let us have our last example, Li3N. Again, to correctly name this binary ionic compound, still, we have to follow these four simple steps. Step 1, identify the cation and the anion. For this example, Li is our metal cation and N is our non-metal anion. And since Li belongs to group 1 of the predictable, it has a 1 plus charge and N has a 3 minus charge that is Li plus and N3 minus. We're done with step one and let's proceed to step two. In step two, we have to name the cation by its element name. And Li is a chemical symbol of what element? Of course, it's the chemical symbol of the element lithium. And we're ready to go to step 3. In step 3, we have to name the anion by taking the root name of the element and add the letters I, D, E. Now, N is a chemical symbol of what element? Right, it's a chemical symbol of the element nitrogen. And to get the root name of the element nitrogen, let's look for nitrogen. Here it is. The root of the element nitrogen is NITR. NITR. And on the letters IDE, that is. NITR plus IDE. And finally, we have to write the name of the compound by combining the names of the ions. Our cation is lithium and our anion is nitride. So, the correct name of this compound Li3N is very good. It's lithium nitride. <laughs> Let us now check your understanding. And to check your understanding, I have here boxes of different colors. And each box, there is a compound that we have to name. And we are only given 10 seconds to name each of the compound. Are you now ready? Alright, let's get this started. Of course, we'll start with number one. K3P And if you answer the potassium phosphide, you're right! And let's proceed to the second one. 
BeCl2. And if your answer is beryllium chloride, you got it. And let's have the last one. NaF. And if your answer is sodium chloride, well, congratulations! Let us have the number 4. Mg3 and 2. And if your answer is magnesium nitride, well done! And let's have the number 5. CE2S. And if your answer is cesium sulfide, terrific! And let's have the number 6. MgCl2. Answer is magnesium chloride. Well, you're a winner. So there you have it. And if you have comments, suggestions, just feel free to write it below, and we'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.